Training camp is behind us and the Saints first week of the season is officially here. Welcome into our Saints practice report. I'm Erin Summers. Week one and the Saints get to kick it off at home in the Caesar Superdome 12 o'clock against a division opponent, the Carolina Panthers. The players, they couldn't be more excited. I'm, I'm like a little kid today. It's like, you know, the hard work you put in through training camp, uh, being away from the fam, focusing in on honing the craft. You do all that to get to game, get to game week. Um, you know, at the final preseason game, you're just like, get me to week one. We're in week one now. So it's, it's a good place to be in. I think we've got phenomenal talent on the team. I think we have great leaders on the team. I think we have great players on this team. And all we have to do is realize our greater potential and go capitalize. Across the league, week one holds a lot of unknowns, as there just isn't a lot of game tape to watch. For the Saints, it's all about communication and adjustments throughout the game, especially with the Panthers team that has a new head coach and new players in over half of their positions. Um, when you get into the first game of the season, you know, I, I just think it's, it's the team that's able to adjust the best uh, that's going to have the most success because um, you know, everybody's going to have something that you haven't seen yet. Um, and so I think that'll, that'll, be, the, that'll be the challenge for us is, is finding out, you know, what they're trying to do, how they're trying to attack us in all three phases, um, and then being able to adjust uh, when we need to. Offensively, the Saints will be unveiling their new offense under offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak. And Kubiak's, he's taken a lot of the questions out of Derek Carr's hand. He's going to be responsible for any adjustments that need to be made and leave Carr to the execution. I had a question today going through something. I was like, hey, there's this, there's this and this. Like, when do you want me to think this or think that? And it's like, I will tell you. Don't even worry about it. You just play. And it's freeing for me because every coordinator, like this is a big thing that people don't talk about for especially a lot of young quarterbacks or quarterbacks that have changed systems, is you can get the same exact play call on the same yard line in the same moment of the game, same score, and throw one ball and one, one coordinator says yes and the other coordinator says don't do that. And you gotta learn that, you know, because it's their, they see it a different way. But Clint is very clear with that and he makes, he makes it known to me so I can be free. He's very clear with me on you know, when and what he wants. Quick injury report, linebacker Willie Gay Jr., who was absent Monday's practice with a back injury, was back on the field Wednesday as a limited participant. It all goes down this weekend. Week one is here. The Saints will be back at practice Thursday and Friday. We'll see you all week on NewOrleansSaints.com.